grade threes. Today, we're going to do an activity that tells me a little bit about how you're feeling about coronavirus or COVID-19. I feel like it also might help you understand what you're feeling. And if you have any questions, this can bring them up and you can talk to me or your parents about some things that might be confusing you, or you might be curious about, about the coronavirus. So today you have two jobs. Our first is to figure out how you're feeling about the coronavirus. So you're gonna be writing today and your first sentence is gonna be something like this. When I think about COVID-19 or the coronavirus, it's the same thing, it just has two names. I feel something. You have to think about how you feel. You could be sad, you could be confused, I feel lonely, and I'm going to show you your first activity. Your first activity is to make the word you feel out of objects in your house. So I told you, I feel lonely. I'm pretty sad that I can't see you every day, I can't see my friends. All day I'm home and there's no one else actually here. Pav is here, my dog and my cats, but there are no other people here. So I am alone or lonely for most of the day. So that's how I feel when I think about the coronavirus or COVID-19. So I used some things I found in my house. I have pencil crayons that I use to put L, N, and part of this L. I use some dice for the bottom of my L, for parts of my E, and the bottom of this L. I used a hair tie for my O. I use some erasers for part of my E, and I use some tens blocks that I have for my why. You can use whatever you find in your own house, but you're going to be writing to me your feeling. So you could use stuffed animals, you could use Lego, you could draw it and cut it out, but you have to make it with something. You have to form it. So don't just write the word. If you're using paper, you have to cut up pieces or rip pieces. Make it out of something to show me how you're feeling. Once you've made your word and told me how you are feeling, you're going to need to do some writing. So I have some examples here and I'll show you some sentence starters and some ideas of what you could write about. So your first sentence, like I said before, when I think about COVID-19 or coronavirus, I feel, and I would put lonely, but you can put whatever word you want here. I feel anxious. I feel nervous about what's gonna happen. I feel lonely, or whatever your word is, because. Now, why do you feel that way? I've already told you that I feel lonely because there's no one else in my house for the rest of the day. From seven in the morning till five at night, I'm all alone here, and that makes me kind of lonely. I look forward to seeing you at our Zooms and hearing from your emails, but it's different than actually seeing someone and talking to them. So I feel lonely because I'm home alone. Some other sentence starters you could use are something that scares me is seeing everyone in masks. It's a little unsettling. It's odd to me. I haven't seen it before. So maybe it scares me a little bit. Something that scares me is not knowing when it's going to end. So this is time for you to think deep in your heart, deep in your mind about your feelings. It often helps to write them down on paper. This might be a harder activity because you actually have to think about how you feel, but it's going to be good for you. Writing down when we have this kind of scary or nervous feelings can really help our body and our mind understand what we're thinking so we can feel better about it later. So if this is a little bit scary to you to write down all those feelings you're a little afraid of, that's okay. It's scary to me too, but it will help you feel better later. So something that scares me is not knowing when I'm going to see my friends again. I don't know when. Hopefully I can Zoom with some of my friends or go wave at them down the street, but I don't know when they're going to be able to come back to my house. And that scares me a little. Now, there's also some good things. Just because it's a, a virus and some people are getting hurt doesn't mean that quarantine is only bad. Something good that happened was, now it happened before, so it's a was, it happened before. Something good that happened was I got really good 
or I think I'm really good <laughs> at baking some different breads. I've gotten time to spend, gotten to spend some time on that. And I feel like I've gotten better. Something good that happened was I get to spend time with my puppy, Pav. She's home alone. She's lonely a lot. When I'm at work, she's not so lonely now. She's happy. So that's something good. Something good that happened was I still get to see you all the time. Even though it's not the same, even though we're not at school, I am very happy that I get to see you every week. Something good might have happened at your house. Maybe you're really excited because now you get to spend time with your family. Maybe you get to see your brothers or sisters more. Maybe you get to see auntie and uncle on Zooms and you never got to see them before because they live far away. Try to find something good that happened. It's good to feel happy about even things that are sad. You could say, I'm still worried about what's going to happen next year at school. Is it going to be the same? Our class is going to be smaller. I don't know. We're all going to figure it out together. And it's okay not to know. Just because, just like in predictions in Charlotte's Web, I can guess what's going to happen. But I don't really know. But I do know that you are all very strong and healthy and happy students. And you'll be doing great in grade four. So I'm not worried about that. I think that would be something that I'm looking forward to, like next. When it's over, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone again. When it's over, I'm looking forward to going to the movie theater. I like going to movies sometimes, but I couldn't do that. When it's all over, I'm looking forward to going out to a restaurant to eat. So I don't have to cook that meal. I've been cooking a lot more and I like that, but it would nice to be nice to go out to a restaurant again. When it's all over, I'm looking forward to playing some sports with my friends. I like to play frisbee, but it's not very good because we're all touching it and we could be sick. So when it's all over, I'm looking forward to playing frisbee with my friends and not worrying about how often I wash my hands during the frisbee game. These are some ideas of sentence starters. So if you go to write and you don't remember what things to write, come back to this part of the video and read it or listen to me talking to figure out some sentence starters to write. So let's check our steps. Step one, make your feeling words. So I wrote lonely with my items, with my pencil crayons, with my dice, with my base 10 blocks. I made that word. It's right down here, but you can't see it. <laughs> Number two, write about how you're feeling. I gave you some sentence starters, but when you're done, your paper should answer some of these questions. It should have at least six sentences. So you should have six periods. You should have maybe some exclamation marks. Maybe you're saying, I feel very anxious. And you put an exclamation mark and that's okay. It's okay to have big feelings right now. It's okay to have big feelings all the time. And about something that might be scary, it's very it's understandable to be afraid or it's just a little uncertain. So you need six sentences. Those sentences tell me how you feel. Look, I feel that if you do the first sentence, this one's done. When I think about COVID-19, I feel lonely. How do you feel? I feel lonely. What do you like? Oh, I already wrote about that. Something good that happened. I like getting more time to bake bread. I like being able to sometimes stay home or sleep in a little bit later what you don't like, something that scares me or I'm still worried about. Those are all things you don't like. I don't like not seeing you every day. I don't like having to stay in my house all day, every day. I go a little crazy. I don't like maybe you're having, getting upset with your siblings because you see them too much and you are fighting each other. That's not good. Share your, share your toys, share your ideas. What are you confused about? I'm still worried about. Maybe you're confused. Maybe you don't understand exactly what this is or how people get sick. Ask your family. Ask me. Maybe I know. Send it to me in an email. Write it in your letter. Or you say your letter, your write-up. Sorry. What changed in your life? So it could, it could maybe, you could use one of these sentence starters to say that something good that happened was I stay home more now and that might have changed in your life. Maybe one of your family members doesn't work right now and you could just spend time with them. So a change doesn't always have to be bad. It can be a good change. 
Maybe you actually moved houses during this. Maybe that changed. And it has nothing to do with this, the coronavirus or COVID-19. And that's okay. And lastly, this one, I would encourage you to put it in. You don't have to, but I would say I try to put it in because it's good to have a good feeling about when it's over. What you're looking forward to. So when it's over, I'm looking forward to seeing my friends. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you. I'm looking forward to getting to go outside whenever I want. <laughs> I'm looking forward to just walking around and not having to worry about how close I am to people. So it's good to have something to look forward to because it keeps our spirits up, it keeps us happy. And even though this might be a harder activity because you're thinking hard about your emotions, you're thinking about something that scares you, maybe, it's very important to write down your feelings. And it's okay, maybe not even to understand your feelings. When I think about COVID-19, I feel unsure. I'm unsure about what's going to happen next year. I am unsure about so many things. It's okay to not know how you feel, but write that to me in some way. Okay, this is a harder activity. And I know I'm pushing you a little bit with six sentences at home about a hard topic. But I think that it's going to be good in the end. When you're done, you'll feel better. And it's good to talk about these things sometimes. So if you have any questions about this, make sure you're asking your family. They have answers for you. If you're not sure and maybe they don't know, ask me. I can look it up. Even I don't know everything, but I can do some research. I can try to answer your questions. So if you have some, put them in there. And I hope that this helps and does make you feel better. And if not, we'll have a more fun activity tomorrow. All right? Good luck, and I'll see you next time. I hope you feel good.